I mean, look at that. That shit hella boiling. Yeah, look that at this. Shit you see that boiling right there? You see it? It's moving by itself? Oh yeah. That's called a hot pot, alright? <laughs> That's a hot pot. <laughs> Yo, what's good? It's your boy Vyong. This is D Young. We out here at Tasty Pot, located in Dinky Town in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes, sir. And here today we're gonna order some food. This spot is pretty legit. I think they're gonna supposedly bring out like what? Soup, Vermis basically. Yeah, soup, vermicelli. It's filled with a bunch of meat, different vegetables, oh, yeah. tofu, whatever you want. They have their own signature uh, hot pot here. But I know for sure today we're gonna be ordering off of their menu they have. But yeah, join us as we go in and go eat what yes, they sir. have to offer here. All right, yo, so we're back here. We're inside Tasty Pot now, and right here, we're gonna start off with a drink. Right here, I have the milk cream green tea. Yes, sir, and I have the Hokkaido milk tea with uh, some... <laughs> pearls. Pearls, yeah, I was gonna call them, yeah, not jelly. Yo, check this out, though. I know that y'all love this. The aesthetics. This is I, new to me. I've never had milk cream and green tea together. I'm actually gonna pop mine open this time. It's got a lot of cream on top. You know what? Actually, I think this is so that uh, you don't. If you don't want to use a straw, you can just, just sip out yeah, of it. Just sip out of it. Cheers. I, I like hey, mine. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It tastes a lot of green tea. I'm gonna tell you that. Right now. <laughs> Dude, I love mine. Um, <laughs> I was expecting something really sweet. <laughs> okay, hold on. Before before I prepare sip this yourself. one, this one is uh, it's like a coffee based. It's kind of it's similar to like a Thai tea. If you watch our last episode, like I, I believe the place is called is it called Indigo? Yeah, in the, in the bag. So this is kind of similar to that, but it's less strong. It's more subtle. All right, I while he's like drinking those. that, watch his face, but listen to me. All right, that one, he definitely tastes a lot of green tea. <laughs> he tastes a lot of green tea. <laughs> I was expecting a really sugary drink. I don't know what I was expecting out of green tea, but uh, you know, this stuff is kind of, I guess you could say, authentic. Um, this tastes like a milkier version of just straight up green, green tea. tea. I'm, I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna. And it's like, I feel like it's pretty potent to the point where it kind of tea. It could almost have leaves in there, like yeah. green tea leaves. It's like stuck in the back <laughs> of my throat, like it's coated my whole mouth. This isn't no Lipton like green tea, bro. This is like this tea is straight out of Sichuan, bro. It's straight out of China, fresh off yeah. the boat, straight into the cup. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll gonna put these sippers. away, all right? All right, now that we got the drinks over with, we're gonna hit the real stuff, the real deal. Why are we here? Why it's called Tasty Pot, all right? Yep. So right here, I got the uh, beef hot soup. I've got Napa cabbage beef slices from Selling Noodles, enoki mushrooms, taro, tomato tofu, some horror pork meatball, kamabo fried tofu skin, imitation crab meat, fish cake, mm -hmm. clam, cilantro, and scallions. We got a lot going on Damn. here. Uh, there's a lot of things in here that I really love, and that's about everything in here. When it comes to certain things, I'm not that picky, but we'll try his now. I need to use menu too because there's just too much. I got the Taiwanese Supreme Pot Soup. Um, yeah. This is a Taiwanese cabbage, instant noodle, beef slices, beef tendon, enoki mushroom, tempura, clam, fuzu, fish ball, cuttlefish ring, pork blood rice, cake. Uh, pork intestine, fried tofu skin, brown beach mushroom, tofu imitation crab, meatball, sour mustard, fried tofu puff, cilantro, and scallions. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Besides the hot pot, we also have some sides here. We have chili garlic. And this looks like a peanut sauce. I'm not too sure. And this is like a soy garlic sauce. This is I can we smelt it first. Yeah. I got my side of rice here. I got my side of vermicelli noodles. And this is how you dive in, all right? So we got our bowls over here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna throw some rice up in here. This right here is for a sauce. This is a sauce bowl. This bowl right here, the little bigger one, this is for like, it's like a community eating type thing, you know? It's yep. like for fun. Like if you were to come here with some friends, you guys just all grab a little bowl, boom, share. It's I'll like, show them how to do it. All right, so I got my rice here now. So what I wanna do is, I wanna grab this. I want some of the soup up in here. Put it right there. I got a little piece of tofu hidden in there. Well, I got some more soup. You know, this depends on what you want. You pick and choose what you want in here. Uh, that's how I want. I want that much just to soak up the rice. We got imitation crab here. Do you see that? I'm gonna throw that up right here. There's an enoki mushroom, I believe. Uh, we got corn, beef. I just want everything up in here. Fish Damn, cake. Bro, that looks so good. Oh yeah. Tofu. I love tofu. I'm a big tofu advocate. All right, so after De Young's finished, this is what I do. Grab this. 
You want to kind of cook the uh, the vermicelli noodles. They come out a little bit harder, but this is super hot. At Tasty Pot, they bring it out here and it's just straight up boiling. So that, it looks amazing. And all you gotta do is you just dip in this uh, vermicelli noodle, let it sit for a little bit. While that is like kind of um, soaking up all this broth that it has in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this to my, uh, to my little bowl just so that we can try it. By the way, there's noodles at the bottom of your uh, boiling hot pot right here. So this is how right. I'm gonna tag mine, okay? So I got mine, everything right here, my cabbage, my beef, everything. Um, it's gonna be one big bite. I'm gonna try to do it with my chopsticks. Do this, wrap around my, ooh, got my beef right here. I got my chili oil, so dip it in there. Boom, like that, and just, how is it? Mom bait. This is fire. Mm. So I got mine ready. I'm about to dive in too. I hope it's spicy. Y'all know I love spicy. Oh shoot. Mm-hmm. Smash tastic. Mm-hmm. Smash tastic. Dude, one thing that I really stuck out to me in my first bite was the meat. That beef that's in there is just it's fire. Perfectly cooked, very tender, very soft. This broth. It's a spicy soup. I want to. I want to say that it has like this hint of like sourness in it. I can't tell what kind of broth like is made from, whether it's pork, beef, or whatever. Uh -huh. But I know that it has seafood in there too, and you could definitely kind of taste that seafood in there. Oh yeah. One thing I love about this one is uh, yours is like the supreme hot. Mine is just the beef base, a little hot in it, you know. Uh, I got this medium because you know it's a community thing. Like, when it comes to hot pot, it's really cool because you can have your own little bowl with your soup inside and you can add your likings to it. You can keep this basic, but when you put it in your bowl, you can add anything you want in it to make it your bowl. To personalize it very yeah. much. You get to personalize it how you want. You know, anything you want in there. He got his noodles for his add-on. So what he did was he threw it in here because that's what you can do with hot pot. Hot pot's always gonna be uh, changing. You're always gonna have a new hot pot every time you add something else. You add yes, seafood, sir. it's gonna have a seafood taste to it. And you add beef, it's gonna have a beefy taste to it. That's the one thing I love about hot pot. Oh yeah. Let's dive in again. I, I only tried the beef. The beef was really relevant. Um, I have tofu up in here too. Give this a shot. Be careful with tofu though because tofu soaks in the hot juice and if you bite it when it's hot, you're gonna get a mouthful of hot juice. Yeah, you're gonna burn your mouth, bro. You burn your tongue and it ruins everything. Mm -hmm. You can't taste nothing no more. For real. You see that boiling right there? You see it? It's moving by itself? Oh yeah. That's called a hot pot, alright? That's a hot pot. <laughs> That's a hot pot. <laughs> So I gotta show you guys this. This is like some kind of uh, what is it? Asian meatloaf. This is my all-time favorite thing. They put this in like bun, uh, bun, bun meats. They put it in fud. People put it in a lot of different stuff. This is like this is a go-to right here. Get a better look at that if you can. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm about to drop it. I'm gonna dip this in a little hot sauce. Boom, boom. That's it. I didn't even get any broth yet. In the Hmong language, this is guo cool right here. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have some guo cool with every, everything, you know what I'm saying? Guo cool on. <laughs> get your guo cool, cool on. <laughs> Not guo. Cool. Guo. Cool. Yeah, guo. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> I know that you don't like spicy, but it's not that spicy. Actually, I've been eating a lot of spicy lately. Oh yeah, because you've been hanging out with us. Yeah. You've been hanging out with yeah, me. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of spicy just to keep up with this guy. Right? This is Ooh. Taiwanese Supreme Hot, okay? Put the Supreme sticker right here, the logo. Boom, right there. <laughs> this is some hypey shit, alright? Ooh, yours is different from mine. What do you think? It's good. I was about to say the same about yours. yours mine is, is very lot. plain, subtle. Yours is more subtle. I wouldn't say that it's plain. It's subtle. But it's subtle though, definitely. This yeah. one has a lot more, there's just like, it's like foam, it just smacks in the face. Dude, yours is good though. And one thing I want to add is that like, dude, there's just so much stuff to try in one pot that we didn't even cover everything. But just know that if you guys come here, this spot is like really very versatile. There's just so many other options for, you know, all your friends, whether you guys like spicy or not, a lot of flavor, less flavor, meat, whatever. Um, but I think we probably should dive in on this and do some damage on it. We gotta let the cameraman eat too. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, yo. So that concludes today's video. Uh, as you can tell, we took the milk tea one because the other one was. <laughs> but overall, today I love both of the soups. The one I got was probably my favorite because you can do a lot with it. You can change the soup up and do it to your liking. Yes, sir. Um, obviously, I really did enjoy mine too. I only ate mine. I'm a big spice guy. Um, lots of different flavors. I, we didn't really, we didn't really get to dive into like all the details of every single element that was part of that soup. But overall, though, that shit was fire. Yeah. So don't forget to do what you always do. 
like, share, and subscribe to us off YouTube, Facebook, IG. And like that, we are out. Peace. Thank you.